26%, pretty low, also 20%, not looking good. But I started the day off at 80%, so charge it up here on my power bank and then we'll start the day fresh. All right guys, landed here safely in Arizona. I gotta feel that heat. You gotta feel that heat. Yeah. It's not to play around with here. Woo. All right, so I'm vlogging on the front facing on the iPhone 16 Pro. Just landed here to Arizona. I feel like taking this hoodie off. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments, like how's the quality? Most importantly, how's the microphone? There's a lot going on in the background. Yeah, I'm just waiting for my Uber to hit it to the Airbnb, but it is hot. I'm gonna take this hoodie off actually. <laughs> Big difference compared to New York though. Phoenix is no joke here. It's like probably, yo, it is 98 degrees out here right now. Crazy stuff. Yo, the Uber took me to a wrong, not really necessarily the wrong spot, but like it wasn't correct basically. So now I'm walking basically to the correct to the correct spot. Terrible Uber. Not really terrible, but didn't help with the bags or nothing like that. Eh. Like the thing is with the Uber, he got out the car. I think he's gonna help, but then he ain't helping. He just stand there watching me struggle with the bag. So I'm like, all right. All right, so let me see where I'm going. Yo, walking around in the middle of the night. Like this is crazy. I didn't, I didn't go with nobody. This is what it is. We're here in beautiful Arizona, Arizona part two. As you guys can see in this beautiful Airbnb, long flight, five hour flight to be exact. Recording on the rear of the iPhone 16 Pro. And guys, it is 12 o'clock, literally 12 o'clock on the dot. I just missed Amazon Prime Day part two. I'm exhausted. <laughs> okay, just taking a look around the Airbnb. I got my bag there. Literally, I just dropped all my bags and I'm here. You got stuff hanging up here. Give you guys a tour. This is all shot on an iPhone right now, 16 Pro. Home sweet home, not necessarily. Um, over here. I thought somebody was here. Okay, so they have the light here. Okay, cable management is kind of poor. Okay, I'm switching between the ultra wide and the wide. Cable management is poor, but I'm only here until Sunday. Well, today is Wednesday, so I'm here for five days. Remote fan. It's nice and cool in here too, by the way. Bathroom. Let's see. Do the bathroom test. Okay. You guys can see that that black iPhone 16 Pro. Take a look at that shower. Okay, nice, nice. It has a tub too built in. Very beautiful kitchen. And actually have some seasoning here too. Across the street, there is a supermarket though. So you could technically do a little grocery shopping. Okay, and they have stuff here too. Okay, ice. Okay, so they come with ice. Got water in there too. Nice, nice. They have a coffee machine so I can make some coffee in the morning. Really nice. Um, Let me see. You got paper towels, a couple of treats there. Okay like the light there too as well but that's basically it <laughs> oh most importantly we got the desk set up here that's where i'm mostly gonna make my videos but we gotta see how outside is and then here is the balcony i'm not trying to make too much noise because somebody else live right there so and it's like 12 o'clock at night but yeah really nice stuff going on not the best view but I'm probably barely gonna come out here. Yo, guys, you know what I just noticed? Bedroom is beautiful. Look, this whole bed is to myself. Oh, bed. Uh, all right. I noticed outside, you guys remember? I thought there was some next door neighbors here, but no. It's right here. Okay, so we have a private, private, private balcony. Decent little Airbnb, though, I must say. I'm fairly impressed. So currently, right now at 12 16 a.m., I'm at 24%. I did charge it while I was on the plane, then I had to use it to request an Uber. I'm vlogging on the iPhone, as you guys saw. So yes, this phone is taking a heavy hit. I'm changing wallpapers. I'm customizing my control center. I'm doing all kinds of stuff. So I'm gonna 
start off fresh. I'm going to wake up tomorrow. I'm going to charge the phone up to 100%. And we're going to see how long the battery lasts. And the case that I'm using is the Pataka case. It looks beautiful and all, but as you guys can see, it could get a little smudgy. But I, I love the way how the phone feels with the Pataka, the armor fiber. It just feels so good in the hand. Oh, and side note, since I live in New York, usually things close down late. But here in Arizona, that is not the case. It's 12 o'clock. I'm thinking like, oh, restaurants, bars going to be open. It's a Wednesday night. <laughs> it's a Wednesday midnight. So who's going to be open? And what a coincidence. When I unlock my phone, look what it says. It says, find love, lose fear. That's crazy. <laughs> and we in Arizona, this is where I quote unquote find love. That's crazy. But anyway, let me charge my phone up to 100% and I get back to you guys in the morning. No, I didn't sleep on this beautiful, nice bed. I slept my butt right on this couch. Just watching YouTube and then just slept. <laughs> uh, I did kept the light on, just as a little night light, because it gets super dark though. And now, of course, I brought my laptop, my AirPods for editing videos or checking emails. And of course, I brought my PlayStation Portal, which it's amazing how you can even bring your PS5 without bringing your PS5. Um, but for the focus of this video, I'm going to be solely using my iPhone 16 Pro. All right, time to finally use the iPhone 16 Pro. Currently, it is eight o'clock. Uh, I've been filming around, shooting the B-roll and everything. I'm at 100%, 8.14, as you guys can see, I have my notification, I don't wanna put anybody on blast. But yeah, it is time to finally get this day started, the day in the life. And yeah, got my coffee. I'm about to chill out on the balcony. I'm gonna check my email. See what's going on on social media. The first thing I'm gonna do, actually, I didn't even, I was so tired last night, I didn't even get a chance to connect to the Wi-Fi. Okay, so let's connect to the Wi-Fi. And I was using 5G. Okay, I got a lot of text messages, okay. <sighs> Arizona is such a beautiful state, man. Right now, it's not so hot, it's still early, but it is gonna heat up. And eventually, the sun is gonna come to this side, the sunset, so, whoo. Coffee is amazing. And by the way, if you guys see if the screen look a little different at certain angles, I do have a screen protector on here. I noticed a sliver crack on the top. I don't know if you guys can see that like right up there. It is a little sliver crack, but I'd rather it be the screen protector than the actual screen. So yeah, if you guys do notice a little shift in colors, it's definitely not the phone. That's just how the camera is picking it up. Another thing too, I do have Apple Intelligence. This is iOS 18.1 beta. Um, Apple Intelligence should be coming out later this month but I do have the beta, so I'm getting a little sneak peek. I'm getting some very important message on the top. So yeah, so we have Herman Miller. They had their they launch party. Thank you so much for joining. This is very important too. Um, I did attend the Herman Miller event and um, I could talk about it actually now. And yeah, I took pictures on my iPhone 16 Pro and a lot of B-roll came out good. So this is just saying thank you for joining. Oh, okay. So I didn't want to send one of the paints. Being a content creator is all about checking your emails. You're constantly filming. This is the reason why I go with the Pro because this has the best cameras up to 4K at 120. Um, of course, I like the promotion. I do notice things like that. And yeah, you know, like somebody like me, I need the latest and greatest. So that's a huge point for Apple intelligence. I would have probably missed that email. And usually I use an email client such as Spark or anything, but the Apple mail, I might revert to it just thanks to Apple intelligence because you could prioritize the important emails. I'm gonna reply to this email right away. And let me see, let me, let me look at one of the paintings. Let me turn down the brightness. By the way, this is how my control center look like. I don't know. I think this is the best looking control center. 
on iOS 18 in my opinion. Okay, I got a couple of text messages too. Some of my friends from the Pop the Balloon show. Oh wow, I missed a lot of text messages last night. It's good to be back here though. Right now, I'm just keeping up with some of my friends back home, and then we're gonna take a trip out outside and see. Um, I got some of my friends from the Pop the Balloon. I don't even know how the microphone is gonna be on this one, but yeah. So I just got off the phone, four hours of phone calling, using the GPS outside, taking pictures and everything. It is currently 2.08 p.m. And believe it or not, I'm at 37%. That is not really too good. Um, that's okay, but I'm definitely gonna need to charge up because I am going back out tonight. And it's just long phone calls. I was keeping up with my friends at home in New York. And most importantly, I have family in Florida. Shout out to everybody. Um, I hope everybody's staying safe. I know Hurricane Milton was a complete devastating storm. All prayers in, in Florida for sure. But yeah, I was just keeping up with family while I was using my phone on social media, watching YouTube videos, listening to music occasionally. And yeah, that's kind of how we end up on 37%. So let me um, continue getting ready for tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna ride one of these scooters. I don't know how they work, but they're saying 15 minutes to get home, cut that in half. I didn't even bring the right cameras for this, but it's a long walk there. I just figure, why not? Let's just test this out. Now it is 11.23 p.m. and the phone right now currently is on 34%. Um, I did charge it back up to 80%. That is the recommended charge percentage that the phone needs to be in. All right, guys, I wanna lay down. Oh, I wanna lay down. All right, so next day later, the iPhone 16 Pro, I think I'm gonna conclude this video. For the most part, I would say this is a solid phone, but coming from the 15 Pro Max, this is probably one of the worst upgrades. It's not a bad phone, but coming from a 15 Pro Max could be better. Really, upgrade for me has to be just the form factor. Switching to a smaller phone, feels so much better in the hands, but it is a toll on the battery life. I do notice that at the charge pretty frequent, but I'm doing a lot of things on my phone using the GPS, I'm recording, I'm on the phone for hours, keeping up with friends, keeping up with family, and I'm doing a lot. Now, one thing I will say, the camera. <laughs> the camera is actually pretty good. It's pretty good. The pictures here is just, it's just breathtaking. Uh, I took the, the sunset. Um, I even did some night photography too. Everything is spot on. The fact that you can change the tone, you can basically make your pictures the way how you want it without dropping it into Lightroom every single time. But I would say the capture button on the top is not necessary. It's a little bit on the awkward side to use. I would say for one-handed use, it is pretty nifty to just double press on the side to zoom in without pressing on the screen but it's not necessary. I can give you guys that. I'm gonna throw a link in the description to Pataka cases. I think this Pataka case looks absolutely gorgeous. And I do like the black titanium. This is the best color this year in my opinion. I haven't had a black phone since the iPhone 6, so it's good to be back, I would say. Now, as I mentioned previously, I am on iOS 18.1. This is featuring Apple Intelligence. I would say Apple Intelligence is a bit of a gimmick in my opinion. I haven't really found myself really using it. Even though it's gonna be half-baked when it comes out, you're not gonna um, get the emoji maker or the Jimmoji 
you're not gonna get certain things but in terms of the priority mail i did like that one so it's just gonna showcase the most important uh mail on the top and as well as summarizing your notifications summarizing your emails and the smarter siri which siri sounds a little bit more human-like and you could be able to um, rephrase certain things and it's gonna understand you it's cool but i'm not using that all the time what time is it in new york okay there we go so the time difference is crazy what's the weather out there and notice you could just talk to siri without holding the button again and you can have a regular conversation with somebody and then talk back to siri what's the air quality like in new york city okay new york is getting really cold guys too it, it, i'm hearing they get like 45 degrees low out here is like 80 already and it's only like nine o'clock in the morning which is crazy so apple intelligence is cool i mostly use siri to start up timers and everything but um but in this case i think you could start up multiple timers and you can access things on how to utilize certain things on your device but in the day in the life i don't use that man i don't use it <sighs> apple intelligence it, it, it needs it needs some work it definitely do need some work but we're not there yet we're not there yet but what i am excited for is visual intelligence whenever that comes out that's something that i'm about to make a separate video in general on apple intelligence but for the most part yeah coming from a 15 pro max i could have did without it but we're here so there you guys have it that's the day in life of the iphone 16 pro let me know down in the comments down below if you have any questions or concerns and i'll feel free to answer them down below and i hope you guys enjoy till next time have a simple day. Peace. All right, guys. This is the bonus clip right here. We um catching up with some of my Pop the Balloon crew here. We're going to give a little update. And yeah, let's see. Yo, ladies and gentlemen, take a look at this view. Look at that. It's amazing stuff. This is like my third night here in Arizona. Of course, I have the iPhone 16 Pro, seven o'clock at 45. One thing I gotta say, uh, just using the phone so far for like about three weeks, I would say I love this phone. Um, going from the iPhone 15 Pro Max down to the 16 Pro, although it sounds bizarre and it sounds like, oh, it's a downgrade, I would say this. The ergonomics of holding your phone with one hand it fits better in your pocket. Yes, I you know I like the larger display of the Pro Max and the battery life, but at the end of the day, I have an iPad, I have two iPads, I have a 16 inch MacBook. I don't need a larger phone too. Uh, so I'm perfectly fine with my 16 Pro. But one thing I gotta say, having this phone is something that you don't really necessarily need unless you have like an iPhone 13 then I could probably consider the upgrade. But even with that, the iPhone 13 is such a rock solid phone already. So for somebody really upgrading, this is for someone who have the iPhone 12. It, it, it's, it's a good upgrade, but it's not a necessary one. And even with the camera control, it's gonna wear off very quickly. Oh, by the way, shout out to my boy Siobhan. Just like my story. Shout out to him, man. He, yo, he's really the king of day in the life though. Shout out to him though, for real. But, oh, what's that over there? I wish I could zoom in you know what i'm gonna use my iphone 16 pro we'll zoom right in probably snap a picture i don't know what that thing is over there yeah it looks like something is floating there's a lot of mountains and stuff here so it's probably from a distance but i feel like i'm playing gta but at the end of the day i had no regrets this is one terabyte black it's just fine the camera control novelty is gonna wear off very quickly I'm still trying to get used to it with the gestures. I can't use it one hand on the Pro Max. This is kind of hard to control, but I'll say this though. It is nice to launch up the camera app and use it as a shutter button. Everything else, it's a pre it's pretty much redundant because you can control everything on the screen, but it is nice to have that little uh, attention to detail though to have to such as it is nice to be able to control the exposure and everything but not necessary you could just use it as a capture button but apple could have easily put a touch id sensor 
to unlock your iPhone. That would have been pretty nice too. Even using it in landscape, it's cool and all, but I don't think it's something I'll upgrade to though. It's cool to be able to zoom in, zoom out, but other than that, eh, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. All right, guys. Last day here in Arizona, checking out the Airbnb. Come to think about it, I kind of did overpacked. Bringing this last banana. I should eat this. <laughs> but um, but yeah, that's it. We're about to check out another trip down history. Another Airbnb. Many more trips to come. Gotta take the garbage out too.